So, lesson number four, business opportunity evaluation. Lesson number four, business opportunity evaluation. Okay. At this point, what we want to do is to do screening, so know that checkpoint is ahead, and be able to walk around like my friends were asking me, how can I know when I'm through with researching and I'm ready to launch? How can I know? This is how you know. Okay, that's what I want to teach you now. This lesson will help you to know when you are through with researching and then you are ready to launch. It will show you how. I will show you when, okay? So let's go ahead. Lesson number four. You are going to ask and answer these questions, about 14, 13 of them. I removed one of the questions, which wasn't too relevant for this. So there are about 13 of them that you will answer. The first one, you are, that idea you have, you will answer the question, what's the need you feel or the problem you solve with this idea? You must answer that question. What is the need I feel or the problem I solve with this idea. We call it value proposition. What's the need you feel or problem you solve? That's called value proposition. What's the value you are bringing to the table? What does it do for the people? Paracetamol is a pain reliever. So call the name of your product and use three words or two words to say this is what it does. Paracetamol is a pain reliever. So call the name of your product and say, blah, blah, blah is blah, blah, blah. Call the name of your product and say, blah, blah, blah is blah, blah, blah. Remember, you can always find your power proposition by saying, we help dash to dash by dash. In other words, you're going to say, we help maybe small scale entrepreneurs to build systems in their organization by teaching and mentoring them on business processes, systems, and access to funding, for instance. So when you meet Dangote in the elevator, I say, hi, how are you? Who are you? So my name is Dr. Kali Cousins. My name is Kali Cousins. My name is so so and so. We help small and medium enterprises in Nigeria, in Africa, or wherever you operate to build systems in their business and grow and leverage their capacity by teaching them and mentoring them on financial management and business processes. So naturally, he will now know, okay, I have to call you to come and help people in Bronu or Kaduna or Imo State or whatever, or you can work with my NGO to do that. Immediately, he will know if you ha he has need of you or not. So what's the need you feel or the problem you solve? We call it value proposition. The next question you ask, remember I say you're going to ask about 13 questions. That's supposed to be 14. I removed one, which was necessary for this class. Who are you selling to? Who are you selling to? We call it target market. That value you have, who are you selling? Don't tell me. I'm selling to everybody. Everybody eats bread. I'm selling to... That's not true. Okay? Diabetic people may not want your bread. So you can produce bread for diabetic people and other people who are not diabetic may not like it. So they can eat it. It won't harm them. So the point becomes that you must zero in into your target audience. Remember, when you pursue two rabbits, you are going to miss one. Or rather, when you pursue two rabbits, you are going to miss both, not one. When you pursue two rabbits, you are going to lose both of them. So who are you selling to? Zero in on your target market. Know them. Okay, number three, how will you make money from this thing you are selling? We call it revenue model. Okay? You can make money by bringing people into your platform free, and then those who want to advertise to them will do what will pay you, very much like Facebook. You can make money by offering premium. So if people take a test of it, yeah, T-A-S-T-E, they test it, and if they like it and want to expand, they do what? They now pay for an upgrade. That always happens with what? With softwares. There's one software I'm using. This morning, I've paid them about... Um, uh, 50,558 50, Naira 60 Kobo. This morning, I've paid them 50,558 Naira 60 Kobo. 
also because I have extended, I have uh, gone beyond my bounds. So I needed to um, upgrade to the next level. By next month, I probably will be paying them maybe about 200,000 because, you know, it is a software we are, um, the software we are, um, um, you, you uh, a, a kind of email marketing software, okay? I don't want to call the name, yeah, because I'm not advertising for them. So it's an email marketing software that, you know, you can use to make sure that people who register for your courses, you know, are archived to that place or make up the list in that, in that platform. Okay, so how will you make money? That's what we call revenue model. How will you differentiate your firm from what is already out there? Unique selling proposition, your unique value proposition. How will you do that? How, what, what will be your unique value that you are giving out there? How will you take that into the marketplace in form of sell, selling and marketing that will differentiate what you are doing? What are the barriers to entry? Do you need NAVDAC number? Do you need, um, um, what do we call it? Standard Organization of Nigeria. Do you need uh, um, Nigeria Export Promotion Council certificate? Do you need to register with um, CBN? Do you need to register with NCC? Do you need to register with um, NITDA? Do you need to register, with, what do you need? What are the barriers to enter? What will make you or stop you from actually being part of, of what is happening? Or, driving your business as you want it. How many competitors do you have and of what quality are there? How many competitors do you have? Can you, have you do, done your competitive analysis and competitors analysis, be able to find who they are, you are up against, in, not, not, not like in war, but in war of strategy, okay? How big is your market in Naira and Kobo and in dollars? What's the market size? What's the quantity? How many people are playing there? You can always find that with the uh, National Population Commission, find that with um, um, ministries, departments, and agencies of government in their different areas. How many people are playing there? You can find out with Manufacturers Association of Nigeria. You can find out with the NECA. You know, you can find out with all those guys. Yeah, you can find out with Chamber of Commerce around your area to find out, you know, okay? So, how fast is the market growing or shrinking? There are some markets that are dying. There are some markets that are growing. Zoom and the WebEx platforms, you know, are, are, have grown so much, okay? Facebook has blue jeans. Um, um, Microsoft has Teams. Zoom has the Zoom platform. You know, go to meeting and, you know, WebManager. Webinar Ninja, you know, all of those guys, they are growing leaps and bounds because of the lockdown, okay? The pandemic. What percentage of the market do you believe you could accept, you could gain? We call it market share. I'm at number nine. What percentage of the market do you believe you could gain? And we've talked about it, okay? What the percentage of the market share that you can gain? Some places you won't be able to do so much, so it's very important, you know, you are able to find the part of the market that you can get hold of. Number 10, how much will it cost to get started? You need to do your startup cost, add it so well that you are able to, you are able to know all the things it will cost you to start. I know the ones that can come first, the one that can come later. Otherwise, you will have problems of not problem of not finishing what you've started. Okay. Now, do you plan to use debt capital or raise investment? If so, how much and what type of investment? We have assessing funding model in this program. So if you're going to watch it as a cost letter, try to find that other one. But for those people who are in this class, you don't need to worry, okay? By um, uh, in the next two days or so, you are gonna get the course, okay? Now, if you've got that, you need to know what the investment needs are. Now, number 12, do you plan to sell your company or go public 
or list the company on the stock market one day, like your exit strategy, okay? What do you intend to do? Then, if you take on investments, if you take on investment, how much money do you think your investors will get back in return? Yeah, based on your projections, based on you know, your assumptions, you need to actually put that down so that investors can know. Now, if you've got all of those, okay, if you've got all of those, that's lesson number four, business opportunity evaluation. So let's go to lesson.